So, I found this old belt in my basement. So, I started with a just all Hot Topic belt that my brother is never going to wear and I'm never going to wear. It's a little big for me. And I already started taking some of the studs out. But I'm going to show you the least painstaking way to take it out. And I am a nail tech, so I have a few tools that most people don't have, but I will tell you how to get them, and they're actually pretty cheap. Okay, so first I started with a corn holder. Yeah, pretty ridiculous, sharp, easy to stab yourself. Yeah, bad idea. And then you get these. These are actually acrylic nail clippers and they're broken on the inside, so I just kind of stretched them out and, you know, popped it out, and, and these will work because they'll bend the insides too. This is helpful for, especially, well, this side, especially for the, the more leather belts that are really, really stuck in there, the studs that really don't want to come out. It's actually a pedicure tool, and you can get this at Sally's. It's about $12. It has a flat edge on one side that has a little bit of a file, but you want to use the other side that's flat, and it's small, and you can see it goes underneath your nail, and it's for removing hangnails, but it works really well for getting underneath there and, you know, just popping those little studs out. But... This is what I've been using for the easier ones, and I'm going to give you a demonstration right now. Okay, so this is the tool that I'm going to be using for this particular project. It is actually a cuticle pusher, scraper, the whole deal. You get it at Sally's for, you know, 10, 12 bucks. And... I'm going to show you how to pop off these little pyramid studs with no problems at all. All right. All right. So we've got our tools, and we got our belt. All right. You know, you can always push it open a little bit. You know, loosen them up, and then I take from the side, the side of it, not the corner, you know, the flat side, and just stick this, the, you know, the rounded side down, so this part's up, and just pop it underneath, and just wiggle it around a little bit, and boom, there you go, comes off just like that, and when you go to reapply them to something else, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these, I have these handy beetle on tiny, you know, rounded needle nose pliers, and those are good for bending the tiny bits, and you can also use the tiny flat nose beading pliers. So, good luck with, ever, with whatever you're trying to do, you know, always make sure that you have somewhere to put all your things, all your little studs, so that you don't lose them, and have fun, and keep on crafting. Have fun.